we uh, had done a lot of tests last September uh, that actually revealed a little bone chip. And uh, so we had those tests as a baseline. We sent Joe up to Minnesota to repeat those tests and, and get something that we could compare to. And uh, it does show the tear. And so we're going to uh, shut them down for a couple of weeks and uh, have them do a lot of exercise, a lot of work in the training room, and build up the strength in that elbow. And then we'll, we'll uh, reevaluate at that time. Are you hopeful? And I mean, I, obviously you're hopeful, but I mean, the, the, the chances of this when we heard significant tear, I guess is that is that an accurate portrayal? Yes. Yeah, it, it's a it's a significant tear. It's it's not a you know it's not a strain. It's not something real small. Uh, it's a significant tear, and you know we're just going to have to you know deal with it as best we can. And uh, you know this is going to be Joe Nathan's decision. We're going to work with him. We'll provide as much information as we can, and support him any way we can. But you know, let's let's see how things go over the next couple of weeks, and then we'll adjust. We're talking to the general manager of the Minnesota Twins, Bill Smith. So I would imagine that what you've been doing this morning is coming up with the uh, the B, C, and the D plans. We obviously have to uh, begin the process of looking at at uh, our our alternatives, and uh, you know we'll do that, and uh, we'll you know make the best decision we can. We're going to have to you know if, if we have to adjust, we will. In your job, that's that's what you get paid to do, obviously, is to look through those options. At least you have a guy like Roush who has experience closing to, to hold down the fort until you're able to make a decision. Yeah, we've got a good group out there, and, and uh, you know, we, we like our bullpen. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we, you know, we'll start to look at some of those alternatives, uh, as I say, just to protect ourselves. But, uh, as, you know, Ron Gardenhire said this morning, my closer is Joe Nathan until somebody tells me otherwise. What can you tell us about the conversation you had with Joe Nathan? Well, it was, we had a good discussion this morning. We had our team doctor and our team trainer, our manager, pitching coach, uh, and Joe, and, and we just went through, uh, you know, essentially what the results were and uh, what the process was. Uh, was going to be for the next couple of weeks, and you know he he said all the right things as he always does, and he you know expressed number number one optimism that uh, you know he's going to be able to get through and pitch with this, and number two that uh, the team always comes first. Well, Bill, we appreciate the time. I would imagine the message to the fans is: hold on, don't jump to conclusions. We're going to be okay. Well, you know we will believe me. We're gonna we're gonna be okay. We're uh, uh, we we've got a great group, and uh, you know Joe Nathan's certainly a huge part of this, and and uh, uh, we will do everything we can for you know the good of his career, and and uh, we think this ball club's going to be pretty good.